All right. Invincibility is a force. Right? You understand that? Invincibility is a force that is naturally with us, within our vessels. Henceforth, the reason why religion is needed, the reason why we um, are bombarded with money and things, all designed to lower our frequencies. All right, when you start talking about frequencies, you're talking about energies, you're talking about vibrations, you're talking about um, all types of um, vibrational forces within you. When your frequencies are high, all right, when your frequencies are high, you have um, a powerful aura around you that will not allow anything to touch you. Now, when you say invincibility, invincibility literally means the inability to defeat, which means that you are unable to be defeated, but it is your frequencies and vibrations that literally causes everything within you to shift in a completely different manner, all right? We as the original beings of this realm, we as the Atlanteans, we as the true beings of, of this ultimate power, it is up to us to bring ourselves to this frequency, all right? When we were taught fear, in our lower state, they taught us fear. How do they teach us fear? They taught us fear through religion. The fear of God is the beginning of wisdom. What God? Why are you fearing something? See, they, they taught you how to have low frequencies, low vibrations, and brothers and sisters don't understand that we're supposed to be on a completely different level of energy. So when they said the frequency, the, the, the fear of God, they were saying that you need to lower your frequencies and vibrations and worship this invisible force that we don't belong to in order for you to have wisdom. Does that make any sense? It makes no sense whatsoever. So we've been dumbed down through more science on how to lower our frequencies, how to lower our vibrations, how to be low energy beings. The key point in our ascension is bringing ourselves to the absolute power of who we're supposed to be as the primordial deities. We have no other choice but to rise we have been low for so long and this is why we talk about the crystals we talk about meditation we talk about raising your your vibrational energies the chants play a definite role in the frequency of your vessel all right your chants when you begin doing your chants they play a definite role because the chants help to increase your level of power, the force within you. This is what your chants do. All right, so the chants play a definite role in this. So it is up to us as on an individual basis. I mean, because think about it is, this is not something on a collective basis, it's something on an individual basis. Individually, we can do this. I've seen all types of information on invincibility. The biggest thing in invincibility when you're dealing with is authenticity, and 
believing in yourself, which is self-confidence. All right. This is why they need uh, uh, brothers and sisters to believe in this God and believe in this Jesus. Why? To lower your frequencies so that you would not be invincible because our bodies are literally like tethered with all types of minerals, metals, crystals, radioactive elements inside of these bodies. All right, these radioactive elements are designed to work in the highest concentrated uh, 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 power. When we say concentrated, we talking about we talking about something that's just absolutely. All right, so each one of us individually have the ability to be to become invincible. All right. The stuff they spray in the sky, the foods they put out here, the 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 drinks, the the the, the stuff on TV. They've they found so many different ways because this is all more science to make sure that the Atlanteans, the children of the Anunnaki, do not rise to power. Alright? It's all about invincibility. That's all it's about. It's all about invincibility. It's all about your confidence within yourself, your guidance, your spiritual guidance within yourself, the energy that you are operating on. All right. And this is what brings forth invincibility, where you have instant healing, where you literally cannot be killed. You cannot be defeated. You can't. I mean, this is but it's, it's all about your auras. And, and what happens is. The more confident you become within yourself, the more that plasma shield that's within us emits outwardly. All right? And this is why it is so, like, a prevalent thing among these inorganic beings to tell us that uh, we got to obey the law of the land, we got to be scared of the police because what they might do and all kind of things... They put these, these thoughts out here to make sure that we don't tap into that ancient force because they know where we come from. So you have to remember, after the fall, that was that generational curse that was placed upon us to, and it was done through word. Remember, we talked about this yesterday. The technology that we once had was transferred into philosophy. And the philosophy is nothing but someone's idea on paper. That's all philosophy is. Someone's idea on paper. So someone, some these beings literally wrote what they wanted on paper and taught the shit to us, which caused us to be in a lower state of mind, to be a lower, in a lower state of power. Invincibility, brothers and sisters, is all dependent upon your actions within yourself, Within your energy, within your power, within your force. And we ain't talking about no movies. We ain't talking about no video games. We ain't talking, we, we, we're talking reality. When you are at your poise, your, your point of being the most confident within yourself, the most valiant within yourself, your frequencies are high, your authenticity, how authentic are you? This plays a role. No fear. Knowing who you are. Knowing what you can do. Knowing who you can become. This is something that is far more important than anything that you can imagine. And this is how you look into invisibility, brothers and sisters. This is how you look into this power, the energy, and the force that's all around you, within you, a part of you. That's a part of your very being, all right? So just wanted to share that with y'all, all right? We're gonna go a little deeper with this a little later, all right? Something for you to think about. Let's power to you all.